We have yet another fidget toy mystery bag that is extremely viral and popular all over YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So many of you grains have been tagging me on different videos showing that these are kind of squishy, but they're supposed to be the elements, such as earth, fire, wind, water. I don't know why I did water. Now I don't know what to expect, but these are from none other than Sensory ASMR Effects, the popular mystery bag of fidget toys. We've done everything from Sensory Effects pens that basically look and feel like this. We've done fidget boards and many other mystery bags of fidget toys. If you're interested, I will leave a list down below for you to watch. But basically the idea of this one is we get different kinds of shapes and elements. Now I don't know if they feel different, but I really hope they do. Otherwise, what's the point in collecting these? Because there are eight to collect. I do have nine bags and I'm 90% sure we have the entire collection. So we're going to be able to rate them and see if they're different. Please, please, please. I need you to be different. If you're all the same squishy, but different shapes, I will be very angry. But first I'm gonna be sad cause you're gonna break my heart and I'm just gonna cry and cry and cry all the time. I know you only five dollars, but I don't wanna waste my money for nothing. At least make it worth it. And then I'm gonna get angry and everything gonna go in the trash. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, um, we are civilized. We, we are civilized adults here. Yeah. With the monocle and a mustache and a top hat. Look at me, I am very distinguished. Yes, yeah, I'm playing with my mustache, you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do this civilized, kind of. You know what she signed up for. Can you see Salty Crafter enjoying the royal life? Look at her, she has her own castle and a, a crown. She definitely is the ruler of this place. And probably Salty Crafter is like this because she's been enjoying playing Royal Match, a match three game with different kinds of puzzles where you can save a king from different scenarios. And yes, this game is free to download and no ads er me cured. Not only no ads, but you don't need any internet to actually play the game. In this game, you're going to be helping King Robert restore the castle to its former glory. By playing match three puzzles and combining exciting power-ups, you get to complete different kinds of levels. And the fun thing is, by completing levels, you get to see the castle come back to life. And I know many of you grains love decorating, so this has that component that we do enjoy. And I have to admit, I really do enjoy the puzzles where we have to save King Robert from different kinds of dangers in his own nightmares. With thousands of level, yes, over 4,500 levels, Royal Match is one of the best ways to give yourself the royal treatment. <laughs> In all honesty, this game is absolutely relaxing and a great way to de-stress after a long day. And if you feel like playing with a team, you also have that option in Royal Match. So you can either work individually or with a team to compete in global championships. So what are you waiting for? Check my link down below as well as in the pinned comment to download Royal Match today. Again, the link will be down below as well as the pinned comment. A huge thank you to Dream Games for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So we can see in the back here, we get different kinds. So we're gonna look at the pamphlet that comes on the inside and then you have to let me know in the comment section below which one do you like the shape of the most. I have to say I'm really curious about the rainbow. Looks like there's Orbeez in there but please don't make them all Orbeez. Please don't don't you know what I'm getting ahead of my I don't know why I'm getting salty. I haven't even opened these yet but if you are the salty kind like me Make sure that you do subscribe and click on all notifications. We do all sorts of fun, weird, wacky mystery boxes and miniature type crafts. Click on all notifications while you're there. So let's go ahead and embark on the sensory elements squish, pull, and crunch fidget toys. Let's move these over there. Just give me a second. Move them. Why are there so many? And we're gonna start with you. Now I'm kind of intrigued about the bag itself because not only can we open it from here, but there was a funny design at the bottom down here, which I have no idea what it is for. What are you? Nothing. Absolutely, it was just my, my imagination. There's just four semicircles on every corner at the bottom. I guess they serve no purpose. All right, let's go ahead and open. We're gonna find the pamphlet first. See, oh my God, that is squishy. Is that the pamphlet? That is not the pamphlet. Is that the pamphlet? There's the pamphlet. Okay, so we have a snowflake, we have a flower, a lightning bolt, rainbow cloud, a leaf, which looks like the Canadian flag. Here it is for your own pleasure. And then we have sun and rain. I have to 
say I'm really excited about the rainbow, although I'm not sure what element it's supposed to represent. Maybe, maybe, maybe water? Light? Water and light? We don't have earth? I guess the leaf would be considered earth, so I guess we'll find out. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below which one of these is the one that you're looking forward to most. Here they are on the screen, so it's easier for you all to see. And let's, what is this tag? Why is there a tag? Okay. Oh, we have the Sakura flower. Interesting. Oh. Okay, so first things first, it doesn't look like there's Orbeez in there, which is great news. What is that? It smells like markers. That is weird. You know exactly the smell I'm thinking of. That's exactly how it smells. I don't know why it, listen, I don't mind it, but it is pretty invasive. And then there's this weird tag. So I'm not sure why this is here, because if you try to pull it, you might actually ruin the actual fidget toy. So I guess we're gonna need some skizzers, like so, pull, pull you out. There you go. And here is the Sakura flower. It is a little on the sticky side, not too sticky. And let's go ahead and squish it. Oh, clearly slime. Okay, now I'm stretching. It is pretty stretchy. There you go. And it does say squish, pull, and crunch. Now this doesn't have a crunch. It just has a wet sound. Okay. These were $5, right? Let me double check. Cause there's similar products at the dollar store. Give me a second. Oh, $3.97. That's even cheaper than what I thought. Thought I paid $5. No, they're $3.97. So they're $4 each. Okay, that's cheap. So I guess if you like the thrill of mystery boxes, this is not too bad. Nothing special about this. So let's check out the next one. But look at the slime. Whatever we get a double of, I'll open it up, okay? As long, we'll open it up, as long as it's not too messy. Next one here. Oh, by the way, what number was this one? So the Sakura flower is number 105. I know the numbers are there. I don't want to ruin the surprise for myself, so I'm not checking the numbers until after. All right, here we go. And for those of you wondering, why do I not buy them and just make sure I have the entire collection? Because I had to buy it from Walmart online in the USA. I'm in Canada. I can't buy them in the store and check the numbers. I have to put my, my order in the mercy of whoever's shipping these, okay? I can't choose them. So I have to hope and buy, okay? That someone's nice to me. All right, next one we have is, oh, the sun. Hello, okay. And we have another one of these. This is so useless. Oh wait, if I'm gonna rank this, in terms of a fidget toy. Maybe a five on 10. Only reason I say that is because I know that at the end of the day, this is going to end up bursting eventually anyways. Five on 10, let's get you out. And this one. Oh, this one already feels better. So here's what the sun looks like. It's actually really pretty. I love the shape because this itself is its own fidget. Makes a nice sound. And it feels good because it's soft. It's a nice texture. And then the inside feels like beads. It doesn't, oh, look at that. You can already hear that. It doesn't feel like Orbeez. So let's go ahead and squish and see that crunch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh my God, these are beads. Okay. Clearly this is superior. This is clearly superior. Listen to that crunch. Here's the stretch. Here's the crunch and the squish. Yeah, this is phenomenal. This one for me is definitely going to be higher on the scale. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 on 10. And you can even try and get the beads in the corners here. Look at that. Yep, definitely a superior, a superior one. If you want the sun, what was the number? Oh no, hang on. The sun is number one, I believe. Oh no, now I don't know. Is it? Wait, I don't think the numbers match. Okay, kitty editor, you saw the tag when I pulled it out. What number was the tag? Because the back of the bag here, this one says 105. I think that was the first one. Correct me, kitty editor, okay? And this next one is 104. So I think that's the sun, correct? Yes or no. But I'm pretty sure the 104 is the sun because the pamphlet is still on the inside and we haven't taken the pamphlet out of that one. Next, 
And next one, I'm curious what other textures we have here. Hopefully, each of these sets is its own texture. So maybe these two are the same, this is different. These two are the same, this is different. These two are the same, unless what they're doing is. Actually, I don't, I don't see a logic. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? We have a, we have the rainbow. Okay, before we move on, it looks like we have the rainbow and the number is three. Okay, I ain't gonna touch it. We're just gonna remove this useless thing. Seriously, why is this there? This is so annoying, because nobody's no, nobody's gonna keep a tag. They all say one here. All the tags say one. So this doesn't count, kitty editor, doesn't count. Okay, we have this. This one's probably Orbeez. So here's the rainbow. It's definitely just a clear outside. Again, it's not very sticky. You can't just throw it on the wall and it won't stick, but it has a little bit of a sticky texture to it. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Orbeez, 100% soft Orbeez. Look at that. Definitely super colorful on the inside, very representative of a rainbow, which I really like that choice but it wouldn't have hurt them if they added a little bit of the beads in there to add a little bit of a crunch. Because here's what it looks like. And sounds like. Here's the stretch. Actually, that's pretty cute. Stretch is cute, stretch is cute. And the squeeze. Which again, is colorful and visually appealing, but there's nothing really to it. So I'm going to have to give this the design is cute. I'm gonna give it a 5.8, just because I'm generous. And the next one. What about you? Oh, the cloud, cute. And the cloud is number one. Didn't we see number one already? I don't think so. Number one. All right, let's cut you out. This is so annoying. I think it's Orbeez again. So here's the cloud. Again, I really truly do love the color choices that they're having for every single one. And it is Orbeez, right? Squeeze. Orbeez. Look at that. We have greens, we have blues, we have white Orbeez. Does this glow in the dark? Here's the squish and the stretch. Very cute. It's harder to see, so let's bring our trusty felt to create a little bit of a color contrast here. Very nice. And here it is. So you could see the beads a little better. Let me bring it closer. Voila, looks very, very cute. I have to say, I really love the color choices for these ones. But again, very similar to the rainbow. I don't see anything interesting about this one that I wouldn't find at a dollar store type. And since it's not as cute as the rainbow, I'm going to give it a 5.5. So far, so good though. We didn't get any of the doubles. So let's see what this one has to offer us. This one feels heavier. Maybe it's me. Please give us something different and you are. Oh, the snow. And the snow is number six. It's like a routine opening things now. Okay, from what it sounded like, I'm guessing this is going to be also slime. So we have the snowflake. Oh no, that is different. Okay. That's kind of a putty on the inside. Not quite a slime. Here, let me show you grains the difference. So here's the slime one, and you can see the inside is actually kind of soft, if that makes sense. It's way goopier, there. And this one is more of a putty, so it has a bit more of a consistency. Listen to that. So we definitely have a putty and we have a slime. So this is a lot more gooey and this is a lot more stiff. You know what? I think I'm gonna open each one. I think I kinda wanna open each one of these. But at the end. Okay, we're gonna wait at the end. We're gonna get a nice shot of all of them and then we're gonna destroy them because that's what, I, what do. I do. And here's the stretch. So you can see it is a white heavy putty and the squeeze and the snowflake design, which I mean, it's okay, but not my favorite. So I'm going to give this probably a three on 10. That's why I don't mind destroying it. Next one. You are, what the shrimp? I think that's the lightning bolt, is it? Oh wow, that is sticky. Oh my, look at that. Sticky. Okay, lightning bolt is number two. And we won't cut this. And since it's pretty white, we're going to go ahead and put our trusty felt. Oh, is that more beads? That is beads. That is definitely beads. So here's what the lightning bolt looks like. Looks pretty, pretty stuffed. You can already hear that, listen. Just by moving it around, you can already feel that there's a crunch. 
like so. All right, let's go ahead and crunch it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely, yes. Here's the stretch. You can see the beads clearly. Now what I'm curious about is if the beads are all the same color on the inside, because the sun does look like it has transparent beads. Like so. There you go. And here, same thing. Very nice. I really like this crunch. It's a very deep crunch. Yep. Not crazy about the shape. I guess you could fidget with it a little like this, side to side. But other than that, it just, there's something unsatisfying about it. So it's not going to get a high score, but the crunchiness does help. So I'm going to give it a 6.7. Oh, that one's heavy. That one's really heavy. I'm actually curious what's in here and why is it so heavy. It's probably a bigger shape. You are. Oh, the maple leaf. And the maple leaf is 108. Yes, 108. And the usual. Oh my god. Look at look at the stickiness. Hang on. Like I said, it's not sticky enough to go on the wall, but it does stick to paper. Look at this. Uh-huh. And now we're gonna remove this. I guess they put it there so that people can't touch and feel the texture, but I mean the numbers are in the back, so it's fine. Stop stop pretending we need this. It is chunk. Oh, I like the textures. So similarly to the sun, we do have this fun edge kind of texture. It's okay to fidget on the corners. I can see myself fidgeting in the corners over here. I kind of like the crevices. But other than that, it's definitely a putty. Yeah, it's definitely the same thing as the snowflake. Absolutely the same thing in here. Yep, there you go. So I feel like if we're gonna cut them, we're gonna go for the snowflake rather than the maple leaf. So let's do the stretch, okay? Very easy to stretch. It's quite, quite stretchable. But again, these things don't last very long. Yeah, it's very stretchy. Here's what it sounds like when you squeeze. Okay, I removed my felt because I wanted, I wanted it to be in its pure form. Ready? Okay, nothing special. It's putty. So far, we've gotten every single one. We have the snowflake. We have the maple leaf, the sun, lightning bolt, rainbow, right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. We have our sakura flower and we have a cloud. Technically, we're missing one more, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're missing one more. We have two bags. So let's open the right one. I don't want to spoil surprise. I love surprise. If you tell me a spoiler for something, my whole life is ruined. Everything is gone. You break my heart. I like things to be surprises. So okay, let's move these. So far we have beads, orbeez, slime, and putty. So the last one should technically be slime. So we have this one here. Let's see, what do we have? The answer is, oh, it, it's a water drop. So what's this one? I think we got them all. This one's number three. Kitty editor, do you remember what number three is? Please let everyone know. And the water drop here is number seven. And let's go ahead and remove this thing here. And yeah, it definitely looks like slime on the inside. And here's the shape. Is It's cute. Yeah, sure. It's a drop of water. <laughs> but we can see that there is a blue type slime. I wonder if the glitter is the slime itself or if it's the actual outside. So here's what it looks like. I can't tell. I think it's the actual casing that's glitter. And the slime on the inside is just clear blue. Let's hear that squish. Well, that actually sounds like water. Okay. Honestly, there's a missed opportunity here for these to be even better. They could have added some charms on the inside to represent the elements, but all they did was just make the molds on the outside seem like the elements. But let's go ahead and open one of each. We have a slime, we have the crunchy beads, we have the putty, and the orbeez. So, so far, these are going to be spared. Kind of don't want to ruin the rainbow one because it'd be pretty. Look at it. It's so colorful. Do I like a mess? Yes. Do I like the clean a mess? No. So we're going to start with the driest ones first. So I think this is, these are probably the two driest. Clearly the crunchy one is the driest. And then we're going to make our way to putty. So let's go ahead and open you up. There you go. I'm curious if it's wet on the inside. In you go. Okay. They truly are just beads. Listen to that. Divine sound. 
Wait, do they have holes? Oh my god, don't be a mess. I got this for a reason. Stay on it. Let's take a closer look and no, they're just full circles. And no, I don't think it's liquid on the inside. I think it's just an air pocket trapped. I think. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, I think that's just air pockets. Yeah, because they're not moving. But otherwise, here they are. I'll probably save them for future project. And the glitter is definitely on the outside casing. It always feels good just getting them out. Yeah, that was satisfying. So in essence, there's only four different kinds of textures. So let's go for the putty. And we're going to compare that one with the actual slime. So let's open you up. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Come out. Would you like to come out? Yeah, that is a putty. Come out. Oh my god. Oh my god. There you go. So it's a white, clear, putty type slime. Yeah, it's definitely pretty dense. It's a little sticky, but it is definitely dense. Okay, let's take out the slime and see the difference. And here's what the casing looks like. So the color really is in the casing. Now we have the drop. Let's take the slime out of this one. Oh, and that one's actually colored. Well, oh, that is soft. Come on. There you go. And the casing itself also is a glitter sparkle. But look at that. Oh yeah, that is definitely way more wet. <laughs> That's how I test things that are wet. Clearly. Oh wow, that is sticky. Sticky, sticky. So you see here the difference? And the putty leaves indents. This one you just kind of smush. This one you can kind of push. So that's the difference. That's the texture and that's the other texture. This one takes shape. This one doesn't. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to mix them. There's a, there's a whole other sensory activity. You know what? If you get bored and if they do blow up or anything like that, you can definitely just take the insides and make your own fidget toy out of these. There you go. Now you have dual texture. That kind of looks cool though. That's cool. Oh, wait. Let's add a few beads in there. Oh no, this is turning me into ADHD mode here. Okay, let's put these crunchies in there. Can you stay? No, they do not want to stay. Well, now there's beads in there and it's actually pretty fun. See, they could have done a mixture of textures, but no, they just went with one pure texture. See, now that there's beads on the inside here, it actually feels pretty good. All right, and now we're gonna add a fourth texture because here we have the Orbeez. Now I don't need to worry about the Orbeez being too wet because it doesn't look like there's any liquid in here. I don't think so. All right, let's open you up and let's check you out. Yep, oh goodness. Yeah, these are definitely wet Orbeez. So they feel like little tiny tapioca balls and you can smush them if you squeeze hard enough. Oh, apparently not. Hang on, I got you. So here's what they look like and here's what happens when you break them apart. Like little jellies. So yeah, I definitely expected this. Now I'm just gonna put them in here. <laughs> in our whole full combination. Now we have all elements together. See, that wasn't so hard to do, was it, in sensory effects, people? Make a combination. Have a special one. Oh my God. Now I need to put this somewhere. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but this does feel nice. Definitely a mess. 100% a mess. But there you go. Now you see everything that was in the elements of these sensory effects. Again, here are all eight on the screen. Let me know which one was your favorite based on what we've experimented with. And if you want to watch more previous sensory effects videos, make sure you check up here. And if you don't want me doing some miniature cooking, make sure you click down here until then. I will see you grains in the next video.